Hi guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in tonight's video I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and very good independent horror movie that came out with early access screenings starting tonight and officially comes out this Friday in a violent nature. Who does this movie live up to its title? <laughs> Basically, uh, well, before I get into all of that, of course, please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled review. So if you haven't seen In a Violent Nature and you plan to this weekend for opening weekend, you don't want to keep watching or listening to this film review as it will be full of spoilers, plot details, character stuff, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. Spoiler warning is issued. Let's get into it. So this movie basically follows the POV of an undead supernatural uh, murderer who is um, unintentionally resurrected after an artifact is stolen from his gravesite and he sets out to get it back and he goes on a blood-filled rampage to do so, killing multiple teenagers who are away for a weekend getaway in a nearby state park. He's basically a carbon copy of Jason Voorhees because there is a lake. He's very similar in appearance and origin to Jason. He has a different name, Johnny. And ironically, he may be the most well-developed and interesting character of the whole film because the rest of the characters are just meatbags who get killed off. Except there is a final girl who does survive all the carnage at the very end, which is interesting. Basically, I got exactly what I wanted to see out of this movie. I liked the premise a lot. I thought it was a fascinating take on a horror movie. So I really wanted to see it. And I enjoyed it quite a bit, despite the long dragged out sequences where it's just him walking through the woods, going from one person to another. What pays off all of those, what pays off in terms of all of those walking scenes is the super graphic, creative, extraordinary kills he carries out. Like the first guy with the saw blade through the top of the mouth and he cuts his head in half from the from the mouth to here or uh the yoga girl when he like puts a hook in her head and then he pulls her her head through her stomach through the front of her body i mean it was incredible gnarly nasty and awesome looking kills i mean they were so well done and so creative the kills carried out in this movie i mean it made up for all the walking scenes that we saw the killer doing because my buddy saw it with me and he had kind of a valid point that they could have cut back a lot of the scenes of him walking through the woods to get from one person to another which they could have done but personally i felt like that was kind of the point because this whole thing is supposed to be told from his point of view his perspective and that's exactly what we got you know we got a slasher movie where instead of following Following the victims, we follow the murderer. And I thought it was a fascinating way to tell a story like that. You know, they, they kind of took the slasher trope and flipped it on its head almost. And I thought it was really cool. And there were some very cool, memorable kills and um, just uh, overall uh, death <laughs> in this movie, as weird as that sounds. But this movie gave me exactly what I wanted to see. And I walked away very pleased and grateful with what I did see. Um, the ending kind of threw me off at first because I felt like the scene with the final girl and the woman in the truck driving her to safety kind of dragged on for a bit. I wanted to actually close out the movie with the murderer, Johnny, but instead we closed out with our final girl and our truck driver explaining how there's something in the woods that makes all the predators extra edgy and extra aggressive, which also probably influenced this undead corpse to rise from the grave since his mother's necklace was taken from his gravesite. So just overall, a very entertaining, solid horror movie that I will hopefully see at least one more time in theaters, but who knows. But overall, I enjoyed it very, very much. I got exactly what I wanted to see. This movie delivered on its premise with some really impressive creative kills that make you go, wow. Gore fans are going to love this. Horror fans are going to love this. And I hope you guys loved it too if you're watching this film review. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this movie as much as I did. What did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Any thoughts you'd like to share please try to keep it spoiler free in the comments section thank you so much for understanding in a violent nature is now playing in theaters and uh, will officially drop this friday have a wonderful rest of your night and of course until next time what's your favorite scary movie